Hi, and welcome to the Jennifer Pfeiffer Practice Together videos. Hopefully you've been stopping by every day to practice your scales and other etudes. Today we're going to be practicing the D major scale, two octaves, and we're going to be working on specifically how to play a scale fast. Now this method will work for any scale, but I have chosen the D major scale because uh, it's in many ways the easiest scale on the oboe. Most of the notes you are only lifting or putting down one finger at a time. Now there are a couple of spots in the D major scale where the opposite is true and you're moving quite a few fingers. And of course those spots are right around the C sharp time or the break of the oboe where you're going between B natural with one finger and C sharp with seven fingers. So before we play the D major scale, we're actually gonna practice just going from B to C sharp. Now the key to doing this is to make sure when you play your B natural with one finger that all of your other fingers are over the keys that are needed for C sharp. A lot of people will collapse their fingers, relax them upward towards their head in this direction, which means that they have to do excessive motion to get to the C sharp. in the half hole and suddenly you're doing two different types of movements. You are moving uh, vertical to the oboe with your, with your lower fingers and your upper finger is going parallel to the oboe. You can see your half hole finger is moving this direction whereas your other fingers are moving this direction. And they have to be able to do it at the same time. Now this is kind of equivalent to rubbing your stomach and patting your head. And it takes a little bit of coordination. So that's why we're going to practice these two notes separately. So we're going to begin by playing B to C sharp. And remember to keep those fingers stretched over all seven keys. Here is B to C sharp, one more time. Now the second difficult part of the D major scale is in the top octave between the B and the C sharp. The high C sharp on the oboe is challenging because it's the only note on the entire instrument where you have to pick up your left hand pointer finger. Now, this can feel very awkward, and you might be tempted to have your fingers fly up into the air, but you really have to restrain yourself so that uh, between the B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, that your fingers stay down, especially this left-hand pointer. Let's give it a try. One, two. We're ready to play the D major scale. So the key to playing any scale fast is to mix up the tempos that you play it at. So we're going to be using our metronome and we're going to start off by playing the scale very slow at quarter note equals 72. Now the speed is slow enough that it shouldn't be much of a challenge to play the scale, but it's your job to pay attention to what direction your fingers are moving. Ideally, your fingers will be moving perpendicular to the instrument and not moving very much, just enough to get off the key and to stay hovering over the key. We'll be playing the scale in chord notes. One, two, ready? Now we're going to move on to eighth notes. 
One, two, and ready? And you guessed it. Next on to 16 notes. One, two, ready? And we'll go back to the chord note speed. One, two, ready? We're going to increase the speed on the metronome up to 92 and try that again. Starting with quarter notes. One, two, ready. Great job. And you're going to guess it. Eighth notes and sixteenth notes coming up. One, two, ready. And the sixteenth notes. One, two, To quarter notes. One, two. And maybe you guessed it. We're going to increase our tempo again. This time, to 112 and we'll play quarter notes. One, two, and eighth notes. One, two, And 16 notes. One, two. You want to go back to your quarter note speed and back to your 16th note speed alternatingly. Remember, keep your fingers stretched out over the keys and close to them. We'll do quarter notes. One, two, ready. pretty good speed. We're at quarter note equals 132 and we're going to pretty much uh, go back and forth between the quarter notes and the 16 notes. But first we'll start off with quarter notes 
then eighth notes, then sixteenth notes. One, two. Now, eight notes. One, one, two. And sixteen notes. One, two. Back to quarter notes. One, two. Now, we're going to go back all the way to our 72 quarter note speed. And I want you to really relax your fingers and make sure that they're going very crisp. One, two, ready. Always a great idea to make sure you end your practice at a slow speed. That way your brain will have until your next practice to really have this lesson sink in. Great job everybody. Thanks for coming to play with me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.